It's been a truism in theater that there are few great parts for women once they pass the age of 50. Usually they're relegated to the sidelines playing the mother, the grandmother, or even the older sister. The Roommate by Jen Silverman, directed by Becca Wolf at San Francisco Playhouse through July 1st, seeks to change that truism. It's a welcome relief to see a two-person play in which both actors are women over the age of 50 dealing with middle-aged life in a world that pretty much ignores an entire demographic. Bill English, Artistic Director of San Francisco Playhouse. We have two middle-aged women, one of whom is a housewife in Iowa, and her husband has left her for the secretary, and her son is in New York and won't return her phone call. She's pretty lonely, has a big house, so she puts an ad on Craigslist for a roommate. The second woman is the person who answers the ad. Sparks fly as Robin, the roommate, and Sharon, the housewife, interact. Needless to say, they are an odd match, and that's where the drama and the comedy come from. The collision of these two kind of lonely women, both of whom have estranged children and both of whom are kind of lost at this point in their life and what they learn from and how they affect each other. Part of what makes these sparks fly is the chemistry between two Bay Area stalwarts, Julia Brothers, who has sparkled in countless local productions, plays Robin, and Susie DeMilano, co-producing director of San Francisco Playhouse and a stalwart of the company, plays Sharon. Both are in top form. As we learn at the beginning of the play, Robin isn't quite what Sharon had in mind. She's a vegan, a lesbian, and someone who diverts and disposes every single question about her. What is she hiding? What's behind the misdirection? The Roommate is one of those plays that can take the easy way out. Maybe Sharon is lying to us and she has her own secrets within secrets. Maybe Jen Silverman is pulling a mammoth on us and Robin is playing the long con on Sharon. But whether these notions are true or not, that's not what's really going on here. Instead, we are exploring the actions and reactions of two women, too young to be old and too old to be young, both, in their own ways, are seeking new lives and redemption. These are complex characters who go through their own revelations and changes during the course of the play. Which is not to say there aren't shocks along the way, nor laugh-out-loud funny moments, but this is a play about nuance, about the looks they give each other, the decisions they make. Luckily, with two fine actresses taking center stage, the audience is able to keep right up with the two characters, making The Roommate a fascinating night of theater. The Roommate, by Jen Silverman, plays at SF Playhouse in San Francisco through July 1st. For more information, you can go to sfplayhouse.org. I'm Richard Walensky on Bay Area Theater for KPFA.